So streaming, making videos, playing games, and doing this whole internet subculture thing forever has always been associated with the lame guy in the basement doing absolutely nothing. The streamer awards here that were done by Cutie Cinderella, she actually did the whole thing, and it's pretty much like an indie award show that's for an entire website, which <laughs> is really popular and really well received, as you will see in, coming in the next couple uh, minutes here. Yeah, it was really cool, and they went out there. Um, she did it with Maya, and it's kind of like a popularity contest in some ways where Twitch has so many users. However, it's so much smaller than like a YouTube or something, you know, where there's so much money and so much established history with a website and content creation, where Twitch has been around for a while, but you know, it's really starting to come into its own uh, when it comes to the actual like organizations and the contracts that are coming out and the big money that's rolling in, exclusive contracts, whatever, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so the streamer awards, it was on the 12th. And yeah, let's go through some of the stuff. I, I really enjoyed this because it felt very genuine, very wholesome. It felt like there was a lot of real people who actually were at the event, um, you know, and it didn't feel self-congratulatory in the same way that, you know, like an Oscars would or, you know, just the people were kind of cringy. And you know what? That's good. <laughs> we want that kind of cringe. They're cringe, but they're free. Naturally, Dick Cerdo, they came out the article almost immediately. I'm concerned for the safety and well-being of everyone that works at this website because I swear to God, they get articles out so fast it's ridiculous. Anyway, so as we go down here, they actually detail all of the 27 different categories that were at the streamer awards. So with this, you know, pretty much just giving an overview of how the awards work. Um, they opened in February and Twitch viewers, they spent a couple weeks voting for their favorite streamers. Streamers could, uh, you know, try to artificially inflate it by talking about it or not. Just let people do it, whatever. Because it, as you can see here, the results were determined by a 70-30% split between the judges and the actual popular vote. So, yeah, it was a good chunk of, you know, democracy. But at the end of the day, um, you know, a little bit more of a council and stuff like that. <laughs> so there wasn't, you know, there was a little bit more say for the people who actually are streamers and the people who are actually the judges. So... Uh, Cutie Cinderella here, she put on the whole thing, and I want to say it cost her several hundred thousand dollars, you know, like two hundred thousand dollars, three hundred thousand dollars, something like that. You know, she ran out of a place in LA, who, and you know, they had like a marquee and a live stream and a fake red carpet. So yeah, it was very expensive, but it looks like it's worth it. And it looks like, you know, we'll, we'll look at some of the stats that she had later, but I really applaud people for doing these creative things. And yeah, let's take a look at, you know, trying to highlight some of the bigger names in the Twitch community, but also giving recognition to the people and giving people something to work towards as a future goal. So yeah, Ludwig won Streamer of the Year, even though he's not on Twitch anymore, but he had that 31-day sub, subathon where I want to say that it reached, oops, I want to say that it reached, you know, the most subscribed to person on the entire platform, which is absolutely nuts, you know, like, of all time, like, I think he got the most of all time. Shroud won Gamer of the Year because, of course, why wouldn't he? This guy just, he's hes on another level. The Legacy Award, of course, Pokemon won. Uh, everyone else here, though, you know, obviously insanely popular streamers. League of Their Own, these are just people who do their own stuff. I don't even know what the Sushi Dragon and Elbi, I, I buy. I don't know these two people, unfortunately, but Kip Bogus, the guy who does, like, the crazy streams where he, like, talks to scammers all the time and, like, out-scams the scammers. It's amazing. Uh, Jerma here is insane. We'll, we'll see you later. He has a speech that I saved for us to watch. <laughs> it's ab absolutely insane. Uh, Stans, don't know who this is, but see, like, they're late trying to give stuff to up and coming streamers. Um, the One True King organization won the best organization award, which is, you know, here are some people that were uh, nominated, you know, Offline TV, 100 Thieves, very large, and something that kind of is. This, the actual industry of Twitch streaming is is um, becoming more serious. As you can see, all these organizations are involved. And, um, you know, some of these people are so big, they're able to make their own. And they can win against, uh, you know, NRG and stuff that have been the, the big esports orgs in the background for a while. Best streamed event, the Germa 985 Dollhouse. Um, the price is scuffed. Uh, Balloon World Cup, huh? I wonder what this is. Um... <laughs> So anyway, yeah, this is the thing that we'll look at later, and it's absolutely wild if you guys have not seen it. Uh, Miskift won just just chatting streamer because you know why wouldn't he? Um, he's like the number one farmer drama drama farmer can't can't talk. 
Best variety streamer, most critical. Yeah, baby. Woo, that's what we've been waiting for. Um, streaming Minecraft, I guess, is the stream game of the year. Because I guess there's just a never any amount of children. But best, best philanthropic streamer. I'm not sure why Jacksepp took I won, but I guess he gives back a lot. So shout out. Uh, best GTA role-playing streamer. I don't know who that is. Best Valorant streamer. Um, I'm not on here because I'm bad at the game. It's Timmy, I suppose. Best Minecraft streamer, again, Tom, Tommy in it. <laughs> I think this might be a joke. I don't know if he streams Minecraft. Um, Tyler1, of course, is best League of Legends. I mean, that, that makes sense. Uh, IRL streamer, Ha Chubby. She's the Korean streamer that goes around and films everything IRL. Very interesting. Uh, Jake and Bake also, like, I, I know all these guys, I think, do IRL. I don't know what Rob CD does, but um, yeah, she's always traveling everywhere. Uh, Code Mika won Best VTuber, which is funny to me because, you know, it's not a traditional VTuber where you'd expect someone who is, you know, like Iron Mouse to win or Nanners um, because there is so traditionally a VTuber, but Code Mika really is creative. And if you guys haven't checked her stream out, I, I it's so cool. I wish I could do half the stuff. <laughs> music streamer, Lily Pichu. I don't know. I don't really watch music on on Twitch. I feel like T-Pain is also amazing when he when he goes off. There should be more music streams on Twitch. I feel like maybe I need to go in that category more. <laughs> best best stream runner. Stream runner? God, I can't talk. Best speed runner. Um, I haven't done this. I haven't looked into this, but um, I guess small. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, st speed running is wild on Twitch. People just get super popular out of nowhere. I'm like, huh? I'll just see someone speed running like a weird Sega Genesis game. They have like, you know, 5,000 viewers. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we really like, uh, you know, this bizarre niche game. Best strategy game streamer, I guess, is Disguised Toast. I don't know if that's just Among Us. I guess that's what that's in a reference to. Uh, there's the best chess streamer, because why isn't chess a strat, you know, its own category? Botez Twins, the two, uh, the two twins that play chess. I can't remember their names. I'm the worst. Best Super Smash Brothers streamer, Mango One, uh, over Hungry Box, Leffen, and I don't even know who that is, but yep, Smash people always show up. Those guys are so popular, man. It's insane to me, Nintendo doesn't support Smash better. Those poor guys. Best FPS streamer, uh, Tariq, I, yep, I'm blanking, I, I don't know who that is, but I know who everyone else is. Tens is wild. If you ever watch Val, check him out. <laughs> Best roleplay streamer, uh, Seer. He's he looks absolutely insane. This guy he takes he takes roleplay to another level. But yeah, if you like Brust, there you go. Uh, best MMORPG, Asmin Gold, of course he won because he's so popular. Um, best Battle Royale, I guess is Asu. And I think I went backwards <laughs> in all of my Twitch um, the the awards that we all won so. Uh, yeah, those are the actual award winners. And, you know, it's just fun stuff like this, right? About to say this, but hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Hello, everyone. This is your Daily Dose of Internet. Can you believe it? That's that's me. I'm here. Daily Dose guy, everybody. Why are you even here? You're a YouTuber. <laughs> Get out of here. I, you know, it's a good question. Get out of here. Um, Cutie Cinderella just said, like, hey, come on over. I'm like, okay, I'm here. And uh, yeah, so I flew in from Chicago and now I'm here. So this is really new and different and I'm excited and extremely nervous and I hope I don't. <laughs> what a weird cut. I'm not sure if you guys are in on the joke here, but Moist Critical, he always wears a white t-shirt and a black hat and he has kind of long hair. So there's a joke that there's many of him in the actual Moist Critical verse or whatever, the Charlie verse. So here he is going up to accept his award. Um, two of him. And they I just, just do an impression of him. So much for this. I want to thank the Moist Critical team, Charlie, 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 <laughs> and Charlie. And um, I just want to say this is Jesus the best Christ. thing that's happened since Netflix uh, got rid of cuties. Um, it's the best thing that's happened to my life since I first got my first Moby Huge and sat on it for 24 hours straight. Oh, God. I just want you guys to know that uh, uh, th this means the world to me. And, uh, <laughs> so you can see like that there's Daniel a lot of unique moments is what I'm trying to get into. Forsen, you have been nominated for uh, the Minecraft category. How does that feel? <laughs> Uh, first of all, I gotta say, first yeah, so this is the guy that won it for uh, League of Their Own. Fellow nominees, 
keep doing this shit. Uh, the price is scuffed. Fucking awesome show. Where's Wubby? Wubby, where are you? Unbelievable show. Ibai, the balloon tournament. Unbelievable. Shitcon, shit camp. Unbelievable. This event right now is a huge deal. This is awesome. Yeah. It's very interesting to see all this stuff that they can actually make. Entire community, but for, but you really, know, it's just a different vibe than YouTube. Reaching. Keep doing this shit. I, I, we'd love to see it. I love to see this kind of stuff. This event right now is oh. one of those events that takes a ton of time, ton of energy, ton of just manpower. It's crazy. I'll show you guys this this dollhouse thing. That's that's why he won this award. Hold on, bro. Look at Thank this, guys. Sure. My man made. Uh, anybody in there? Hello. He made like a Sims house. Everybody? in a set but yeah it's a wild <laughs> as you can see like a lot of people make fun of twitch and they're like oh you know it's the it's like the rap react harder just react harder meme just keep reacting um you know as if youtubers do things that are only award-winning films on their own this guy put so much effort into this it's blowing my mind it's just blowing my mind actively looking at it see like this is the most bizarre thing we got a lot of data, so we got a lot of things that we might have to work on and, and check out and see how they play out. But, <laughs> like, this is uh, so chaotic. Part, I love it. Uh, I think All right, for the nerds out there, like, stats here. But here's some fun stats. So this um, is from Kitty Cinderella's summary. stream afterwards. So, yeah, if you look at that, average viewers, almost 300,000. Cavanaugh, thank you for the five. You know, fantastic event. Uh, almost a million unique viewers. Thank you for the five. Um, You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Um, so, yeah. I think that she's... You know, she did have to pay several hundred thousand dollars to put on this award show. And I hope that she makes it, you know, back. You know, it's really cool. It's a really interesting way to do it. It's a way where it doesn't seem like, you know, there's some weird shadow Illuminati group controlling it. It's just a couple rich Twitch streamers. But, <laughs> you know, it's a lot better than most award shows that I've seen the format. And then also, you know, the actual democracy part of it where people can vote in on what they think they should win, who should win things. And, you know, it's not like YouTube Rewind. It's not something that seems stiff and forced um, from a top-down level. It's just like, hey, here's the community. We're going to make the community award show. I'd like to see more things like this. And, yeah, shout out to Giddy Cinderella for doing this. And I hope that this gives exposure to smaller streamers and more upcoming streamers, too. Um, and, you know, I think this will be something that really ages well. If you could do this for, like, 10 years, imagine going back in time and being like, who are those streamers? Because if it seems like on Twitch, people kind of cycle in and out so fast. Anyway, this is Chris, also wingless on Twitch. <laughs> You'll see me up here next year, boys. No, you won't. That's, that's just a lie. But I thought it was very interesting, and I like to try to make videos about what I'm interested in. This is something that uh, didn't seem too douchey. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.